Hello everybody, welcome to part two of this MTD um, 22 inch lawnmower. I believe it's a 2003, I'm pretty sure it's 2003. Uh, what I did after the last video is I uh, serviced the uh, height adjusters here. I took the wheels off, sprayed up the mechanism here, and worked it back and forth with the vice grip. Like I showed you, I think, on the Craftsman Part 2 lawnmower video. Um, what else did I do? I, I painted the handle. So, all we have left to do is I'm going to take the uh, carburetor off the top of the tank. And we're going to clean the carburetor out. And then I want to uh, put the rest of it back to, together. I'll put the shroud back on, the carburetor on. And we're going to warm it up. I'll get the engine warmed up. Make sure it runs good. And then we're going to take the blade off. And then I'm going to uh, drop the oil out of it. And sharpen the blade in the meantime. And what else? I think that's about what we will have to do on this machine. And, and it will be ready. Now as far as the magneto went. Everything seemed to be clean. The flywheel's clean. So I didn't bother taking the magneto off to clean it. Like I did on the Craftsman one. The Craftsman lawnmower was all rusted in there and everything. That's why I did it. So um, let me get ready. And we'll go on with the carburetor. Okay, so I'm going to take the five screws. I believe there's five screws that hold the carburetor to, to the top of the tank. I'm hoping the gasket diaphragm's okay, otherwise, I have to go up the street and get a new one. Today's Saturday, and I think they close at 12 today, so let's see what happens here. So far, so good. It's a little cruddy on top here. So we're going to just take and clean that out real good. I'll just scrape, scrape it out with a little screwdriver. And then I'll take some carburetor cleaner and clean that all out. Make sure these little ports here are all clean too. but that's not not cool but what else is new around here I'll take the screen off here sometimes these are really stuck on here but this one's not too bad I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this gasket off in one piece, but yeah, everything's blowing around already. Let me put this uh, diaphragm in the safe place. Next, I'll take, take off the pickup tube. This goes into the gas tank and picks up the fuel. So we'll take that off. I don't even know if I can use the blue, blue towel to 
because of the wind. So. I'm not going to chance taking this gasket off. I don't like doing it this way, but I guess we're going to have to. These little jets are tough to get on here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me get some of the towel is to soak up some of this W day. Maybe it'll stay there now. Okay, so we got that all. Pretty cool right there. I think we have all the po ports cleaned out pretty good here. Okay, that, that's cool. That's pretty clean. Now we're going to clean that pickup uh, tube with the screen in it. Clean that out real good too. Got to get the straw on there. There we go. Okay, that's cool. What I like to do is try to shoot some down where the screen, there's a screen. Oops, there's a screen here. I try to get it so you can shoot some down in that, you know, in there also. And then I'll just blow all this out with the air. So that's pretty good. That's not bad. Now we can click, click this back in where it goes here. Just clicks right in. Clicks right in there. So it's pretty good. Okay, we got that pretty clean. Now taking off. 
I'll dump this out and pull off we can. Gas smells a little funky, but not real, real bad. Just taking the screwdriver and just working any cr crud out of there that's in there. And I'm going to take some uh, brake clean and I'll clean this portion here with brake clean and I will dump out the gas. get all these ports and make sure that they're clear okay that's cool okay I'm gonna go dump this out in the coffee can So it's always like microscopic dirt that gets in there and just fouls everything up that you don't see, you know? So, all right. Let me wipe my hands off a second. Okay. So, I have this spring here, it has to go back on here. And there goes that gasket that I just stuck on here. I have to hurry up and get this together before this shit blows away. It's a hell of a way to work, friends. Uh, I'm telling you, this really sucks. I might have to go inside and put this back on here because... The spring is still on there. Yeah, it is. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna screw screw this back in, and I'll get the mower back up on the table here, and we'll. all back together the shroud put the carb on with the tank first I'm gonna put some gas in here before we do anything and make sure it primes oh, I forgot to put that I forgot to put the screen on let me clean the screen out real quick here I'm just going to use the brake pan for that. Okay. 
Henry, if you're watching, I bet you caught that. Henry catches everything. Right, Henry? I just wish you were here to tell me when I do these mess ups here. Alright, so I'm just going to screw this whole thing back on, which you've seen that before, I'm sure. And then I'll get the machine back up on the bench here, and we'll put it back together. And I'll start it up, we'll let it run, I'll let it get nice and warm, and then we'll change the oil and sharpen the blade. Okay. We're all set up again. So I take that one little piece of linkage. It has to go on the top of the carburetor here. We're going to place that in there first. out of the way because it's nothing but in the way right now okay we got that now I stick this hose back on because it's easier but I dropped it oh all right I'll be right back Okay, so that ended up going to Never Never Land. So I had to dig for another one. I had another one. Where were we here? Get this up here like this. Stick our spacer back in here. And we have that 3 8 head bolt that has to go in here. And we got that. Then our long bolt that takes a uh, half inch socket. Put that in. Still recording? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we can put our uh, cover on.
make sure your uh, coil wire is going down, running down the right way. You want to make sure of that. And it is. Just got to move it over just a hair here. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's on. All right, so I have to get the bolts for that together. Got our handle. Outer gasket that goes on top of the carburetor here with the air filter mount. Put that on, and hopefully the wind won't blow that away too. On this. And we got. We'll get all our bolts started first and then we'll take them all up. That little bolt that goes on top, I gotta put that back. We're never supposed to take that off, I, th I don't think. Pretty sure. So we got our second one in. Find that third one here. Should be on the. Yep, here it is. After I put the rope in there, I sprayed some uh, WD in the mechanism in there and tried to get some on the spring before I um, got ready to put it back together here. that little bolt that I was talking about back in here I think it's 5 16 I'm not really sure pretty sure it is Let's see what I do with that now. There it is. it's not 5 16 and it's a quarter inch socket no need nope 5 16 whatever that bolt does I don't know but it was there so we'll put it back 